Hello ladies and gentlemen, Captain Shack here, and welcome to Mod and Indie News. This is your resource for what's been going on in the modding and indie communities this week. This episode, we'll be looking at a new version of Brutal Nature. So Rita's EOS releases its second demo, Lantern Forge gets an updated demo, Battlefield 2 Final War gets released along with War, the game, and Total Mayhem goes version 7.06. Brutal Nature is a multiplayer survival game with a voxel-based terrain. You can mine the environment to gather resources to build weapons and structures. Featuring realistic, natural environments and rich, engaging combat, it blends PvP and PvE gameplay with resource gathering and detailed but easy-to-use crafting. The game has gone to version .42 recently, and with it has come a number of changes, the biggest one being the addition of storage containers. If you enjoy Minecraft or some of the other survival gathering building games, then head on over to IndieDB and check out this game. So Rita's EOS is an open world dark fantasy horror survival role playing game, that's a mouthful, set in a fictional world with a low fantasy setting. It's a mod for Neverwinter Nights and it's intended to be a four part series. The series starts with Equilibrium of the Night, where you will assume the role of the set protagonist, although subsequent titles in the series after Equilibrium will feature your own custom characters. The mod team's main goal in this project is to create an open non-linear RPG that harkens back to the classic games such as Ultima and Fallout. A second demo has been released showcasing the main plot of the mod. You're able to explore more than a quarter of the world right now, complete with side quests, and see the role-playing features that are also being offered. If you're looking for a new RPG experience, be sure to head on over to ModDB for the download. Lantern Forge, the sandbox survival game with building, crafting, and RPG elements. It features an isometric view with hack and slash combat. Players can mine and forge for resources to build a home, plant crops, and craft weapons and armor. Then you can venture out to explore the wilderness, find hidden dungeons and temples, fight unique monsters, and collect treasures they guard. Featuring a massive procedurally generated world, plant growth, and day-night cycles, you choose between five skill trees to gain special combat and crafting abilities, hundreds of resource types and recipes for weapons, armors, tools, food, and home furnishings. Recently, the team has updated their demo to include fixes to the targeting system that really tighten up the controls. They also have been working on new dungeons that are themed to match the biomes they spawn in. To check out all the changes and download the latest demo, be sure to head on over to IndieDB. Battlefield 2 Final War is a mod that adds new maps, new map lighting, lots of weapons, new weapon attachments, weapon customization, new vehicles, realistic muzzle velocities, lots of new factions, new HUD, new HD ground textures, outdoor and indoor gun sounds, and lots more. The beta for this mod was released on the 18th of May, and while there are still a lot of bugs that need to be fixed, the lead developer has announced that the next patch will include a bunch of new features such as a new new minimap, new music and menus, new loading screens, and an increased bot difficulty. So if you've been wanting to give your Battlefield 2 game a total overhaul, you should definitely check out this mod over on ModDB. War, the game, allows players to take the role of a supreme commander directing armies across the globe. Straightforward game rules, limited number of unit types, and intuitive controls make this game very accessible. The game features the Earth as a sphere instead of a flat map, and you can play with the mouse or 360 controller. It also has a challenging AI. Inspiration for the game has been taken from the board games such as Diplomacy, Risk, and Access and Allies. The game has reached full release this week, and you can check out the demo that has four levels and two network scenarios to play through. If it catches your interest, you can head on over to Desura and purchase the full version for $4.99. Total Mayhem is a mod for the classic real-time strategy game Total Annihilation. The mod includes improved versions of the third-party units by unit makers from the last 12 years of modding Total Annihilation. All units have been bug-fixed, most have been remodeled and retextured, and re-rendered to Cave Dog standard. The entire game balance has been improved. This is intended to be what Cave Dog would have done if they continued to support the game 12 years after launch. The mod has recently been updated to version 7.06 and with it comes a bunch of new features. A revamped GUI, new buildings, shield generators, new aircraft, and the usual bug fixes and balance tweaks, and 3D model improvements. If you have Total Annihilation, then this is a mod you should definitely download today and enjoy the epic destruction and scale that this game just has. Head on over to ModDB for the download. And that's that's it for Mod and Indie News this week. If you've enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel for more mod and indie goodness. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.